Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse. Thank you for joining me today. First of all, before we start anything, because I'm a bit aware that people only watch the first couple of minutes, can you make sure that you check out the links in the description down below for the bone marrow register and for blood donation. Please go and have a look at those and help fight against leukemia, which of course our star Carla Kimi is fighting at the moment. I just wanted to start off with a little bit of news about the academy. Uh, they've announced today a new group of coaches who have come into the tea, into the club. The two stars of that tea, of that little group are Sean O'Driscoll and Darius Vassell. Who Sean O'Driscoll was linked with the first team manager's job back in 2012 when Mick McCarthy was sacked. So he comes with great pedigree as well, having managed Doncaster and Bristol City in the past as well. So that's a really good signing for the academy, and hopefully somebody who can boost up the levels of those players. Darius Fazell, of course, played for England and Aston Villa and Manchester City, so he comes with a high level of playing experience. A little bit unclear as to the roles now of Scott Sellers and Shea Oliphantjana. Whether or not they will still be part of the setup is unclear at the moment. Wolves confirmed the signing of John Ruddy this morning, coming in on a free transfer from Norwich, which we've heard, of course, earlier this season with Ryan Bennett. So he was a goalkeeper that Wolves were looking at, I think, anyway. But the urgency and the importance of the role has been stepped up following the news last week uh, regarding Carla Kimi. I'm quite happy with that signing. He's got a cap for England, albeit a few years ago. He still comes in with recent Premier League experience. And the only reason really Nor Norwich wanted to get rid of him is because he was on a high wage following their relegation. So... I'm quite excited and quite pleased with that signing. Uh, also in the goalkeeping department, Wolves are expected to finish the signing of Will Norris, a 23-year-old goalkeeper joining from Cambridge. He's worked his way up from non-league and is now looking as if he's going to join as John Ruddy's deputy. I'm a bit disappointed really that Harry Burgoyne hasn't been given a go. He's played quite a few games last season and did quite well, particularly in the game against Liverpool. Although he had a quiet game, he had made one save that we will always, always remember. But this gives him a chance, I suppose, to be loaned out to a League 1 or League 2 side and be the number one for a team down there. And hopefully he can come back with a little bit more experience and, and challenge for the number one shirt in a year or so. Now, there's unconfirmed reports that a very, very exciting deal is about to go through. Now, I'm not sure as to the source of this story, but there are rumours going around that Benicophobi has that an agreement has finally been reached between Bournemouth and Wolves. Bournemouth apparently have been waiting and waiting for Wolves to match what they paid for a phobie back in January last year, which was about £10 million. In the current market, you have to pay that sort of money to get a top quality striker. I think with the service that a phobie will get throughout the season, he's going to score between 15 and 20 goals, if not more. As for the tour to Austria that set out today, uh, Phil Afoso Aye has not gone with the squad. He's injured, which is a bit of a concern considering how many games he missed last season because of injury. Also, Iorfa, Evans, Oniangi, Ebanks, Landell, Jordan Graham and Bod Varson have not gone on the tour. That's six players. I doubt that all of those six players are going to be sold. Bod Varson, we talked about a couple of weeks ago, that he has had a bit of a tough year, considering as well that he played in Euros last year. He didn't really have much of a break last season, so perhaps he's doing a little bit more strength and conditioning training back home before. Perhaps he'll join them for the second week of the tour. As for Iorfa, I imagine that he will be sold now if he's been left here. But again, he's just been out of the under-21 Euros with England, so perhaps he's been rested as well. Jordan Graham... Again, speculating, but he has just come through a massive injury and he's recovering. It surprised me that Deslandes, Sylvan Deslandes, has gone on the tour. Perhaps because of uh, Afoso Aye in that full-back position has not gone. Perhaps that means uh, Deslandes got on that tour. And the final bit of news, the most frustrating and annoying bit of news that we've had for a long, long time. Helda Costa, our star winger, is out of action for three months. He's having surgery on an ankle injury which is very, very annoying because he picked this injury up back in April and it's taken them until now to decide to do surgery on it. So I don't know whether this is because of a change of the medical staff. It's very, very frustrating for our star player now to be out until mid-October, November possibly, until he's fully fit. It's, it 
beggar's belief almost as to a professional football club letting something like that slip through the net unless he's picked something up in training over the last few days but we saw him in pre-season training in the open session last week looking quite comfortable trainer on his own doing a little bit of close ball work let me know what you think in the comment section down below about that also go and check out the video that I did for Dave as a party on his channel talking about the tactics that Wolves might play next season and don't forget to like this video subscribe and check out those links down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.